welcome back to my channel or if you're new what's up i'm gia i make videos or whatever so second video of 2019 i thought i'd kind of go back to a concept that i did last year for 2018 and you know i just kind of like this i like i like reminiscing back on everything that happened in the year and also trying to forget everything that happened in the year because I don't want to experience again. Which if you can't read the title, you're probably too young to be on YouTube. But I'm going to be talking about the trends, people, the things that we just need to leave in 2018. I don't want to see them. I don't want to hear about them. We're leaving them. They're staying there. So there's not a special, I guess you could say, order or amount of things that we just need to leave. These were just some of the things that I remembered going on last year that we just kind of need to let them go something like that so the first thing i think we need to get rid of is those retweet or else tweets like you know what i'm talking about it's like retweet or else you'll have bad luck for seven years or retweet or your skin will look like this and all that like those like those are just so annoying like i really don't know what other explanation to give besides that they're just really annoying and I don't retweet them anyways because like I used to be so like superstitious I'd be like oh my god if I don't retweet it like oh my god like this is gonna happen to me or this is gonna happen to blah 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 but now I just like see them on my timeline and I'm like over it like I'm just over it it's like retweet or you'll die tonight I'm like mm -hmm. bet I feel like people now they just do them for retweets and it's just really annoying. Something else that's really annoying that like became a really popular trend last year was jeweling and vaping like in general. I mean it was like cool while it lasted but like y'all are just like overdoing it out like you guys are addicted to nicotine now like just stop please. Who this doesn't go to is actual people that are first of all legal enough to buy it because I know y'all little high schoolers aren't old enough to buy this. <laughs> I know because my cousin is always begging me to buy her pods because she's literally a sophomore and I'm like You got problems. But for people that are like actually trying to quit smoking, you do you. But like I feel like most people, most kids I should say because this is literally by like high schoolers and some middle schoolers that do this they just did it to like be cool and all that and like hop on a trend and now they're addicted to nicotine so I mean Congratulations, you played yourself. Okay, so this next dude, well, I didn't even start with any people, but this next person or this next thing we need to get rid of is 6ix9ine, Takashi, 6ix9ine, Takashi, pedophile, whatever you want to call him. We for real need to cancel him. Like, I think he's in jail still. I don't know. Is he? Is he not? Is he out? I don't know. Uh, hopefully he is though. But I mean, first of all, his music is not good. It's, it's trash. It's not good. It's just, it's not. He's a pedophile. Um, and he uses the N-word and other slurs. And that's not okay. So we just need to cancel him. But, like, people still listen to his music. And they still support him. Like, I'm, I was honestly really surprised at the amount of people that actually support him. And, like, have, like, fan accounts for him. We're not gonna do that. We're not doing that this year. Or not the next thing is the this is it chief I mean it was funny for a bit like I'm not gonna lie I used to say it I thought it was like the funniest thing ever but now it's kind of like really annoying and like people are really overusing it and it's just like shut up please chief called he said this is it but like is it is it chief is it me talking to my FBI agent is this it no. So the next thing, I kind of like love this, but I kind of hate this at the same time. So the part that I hate is Fortnite. I never played it, but it's annoying because my 11 year old brother plays it nonstop and I'm just really tired of him yelling. Like I'm really tired of it because I get migraines from it. I'm just really tired of it. And it's such like an overhyped game. It's literally like The Sims, but for boys, if that makes any sense. If any other girls were obsessed with The Sims when they were younger. This is like The Sims, but for boys, and I'm just really tired of it, and it's just so annoying, and I mean, I've seen it, I watched my brother play it, and it looks like nothing special. Like, all these, like, fighting games and all that, they're, like, literally the same thing, and then along with that is the dances. I mean, some of the dances are, like, okay, they're, like, fun to do, I'll be at We go But I actually can't do, like, any of them right, like, the 
You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna put it in here, that one dance. Yeah, that dance, I can't do it for life. Um, I can't do the floss, which is another dance. But when you kind of think about it, they're like pretty stupid dances. And a lot of people try to do them in public, and we just shouldn't do that because they, they don't really, they, they don't look that good. Maybe they're good for like a joke, if you're joking, yeah, but if you're actually trying to dance, just stop, please. Another phrase that we need to get rid of is Hi sisters, 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 hi sisters. Hi sisters. Hi sisters. Ah! Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I don't know, like over it, like it was funny at first and it was really catchy. And like, I used to say it all the time when I'm a kid, I'd be like, Hi sisters. Hi sisters. And I don't even watch James Charles, but like, it's gotten to the point where it's like, people make that their personality. Like, do you know what I mean? People think they're like quirky and they're like, Yeah. <laughs> all the James Charles things are literally gonna come from my throat. It's fine. I already have the K pop and the Why Don't We Stands coming from me. I'll take a few more. I'm chilling. We need to get rid of TikTok. Like, it was bad enough we had musically. But TikTok, it's like, it's kind of like the Musical.ly rejects. So what Musical.ly essentially was, it was all the cool people and like being all cool and like hip and like doing their like whole thing. And then TikTok is like the rejects, like the people that couldn't get popular on Musical.ly. So then all that TikTok is like non-serious videos. But it's also people that are doing serious videos that we think are funny because we don't think they're serious when they actually are and they're just cringy. And I mean, some of them are funny, but some of them are just like down like weird. And I don't know, that's like kind of weird. Can we just bring mine back? Like, that's it, period. Okay, and I know this next person I think that we need to cancel. It's going to be kind of controversial because a lot of people like him, but I don't really agree for some reason, so hear me out before you start sending hate into my comments. Um, Jeffree Star. So let me just like say, I do not like Jeffree Star. At first, when I heard about him last year, I didn't know about him like at all. But then some things surfaced, like a video of him from like a couple years ago. I don't know how many years ago, but he was still grown. So he was obviously old enough to know what he was saying, doing. And he was saying some racial slurs and some other things but yeah so you know like that stuff's like not good to say and i know a lot of people they're like oh people change when when they do stupid things and ignorant things like that but it's like yeah but i mean that wasn't like super duper long ago It's not like the same thing like when you're a 12 year old kid or a kid in like middle school and you're saying things you're not supposed to like the F word or the N word and stuff like that. Especially the N word, not even with the hard R, with like the A at the end because I know a lot of people have said that. Things like that I can forgive and forget because I know that people actually grew from them because they were just kids when they said stuff like they were just ignorant they were kids they were stupid they didn't know what they were saying or the things that they were saying meant but there's a difference between that and growing from it like when you grow into an adult and being an adult and saying things like that you know what I mean because it's like well you're old enough to like pretty much understand what the word means of what you're saying yeah, you're still doing it anyways and it's in a form of hatred like i know a lot of kids my age when they were saying like the n-word and like the f-word and all that we were just stupid and we weren't saying it to be like hateful towards people we were just saying it because we thought it meant something else you know and we were saying it's like, cool and sweat right. but in the way he's saying stuff in those videos it's full of hate and that's the difference and i just really can't move past that and i don't know it just really bugs me and i don't know i feel like he's always got something to say he's always running his mouth i don't know i don't know i just i don't want to deal with him i don't want to deal with any of his products or whatever he puts out i don't care about him and i think more people should care about those things what he said and also disclaimer i did not watch shane's documentary on him i don't care because my opinion's my opinion and it's gonna stay like that so Okay, and then the last thing, we just need to keep 
in 2018. Like, please, 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 God, if you hear me, please. It's that gun girl. You know what I'm talking about? When I say gun girl, everybody probably knows what I'm talking about. That girl with the curly hair. You know, she's looking at the gun. She's on uh, campus with the gun. <laughs> she's just really annoying. I muted her because, like, I was so done seeing her tweets. And it was just really annoying. Not only do we need to cancel her and stop giving her the attention, because she gets a lot of attention, believe it or not. As much as people don't like her, we're still giving her attention. So, like, we really need to, like, let her ego die down and just forget about her. Stop giving her all this fame, I guess you could say, this social media fame. Because it's just fueling it. Obviously, she doesn't care about it. And she likes it. So we just need to, like, stop paying attention to her. As well as, like, other people that do the same stuff. Because, I don't know, it's just... It's ridiculous. It's annoying. All right, you guys. So that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And also, you can go down and subscribe if you're not already. And while you're down there and subscribing, hit the little bell button. It's going to go. And you're going to know when I post every Saturday. Also, when you're down there, go to the description. You're going to see my social media, my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff. I post on there all the time so you can keep up with me what I'm doing. Also, leave a comment below if you agree with any of the things I said that we need to cancel. If there's anything that I missed that maybe we need to cancel. I don't know. Is there more stuff like we don't need? Because I kind of need to know. So anyways, you guys, I hope you're having an awesome beginning of your 2019. If it's maybe not so well, hopefully if you cancel these things out, hopefully it'll be better sending good vibes to you so yeah that's it i hope you guys are awesome and i'll see you next week with a brand new video so until then peace out take hold of me you're flowing through my own like ecstasy ecstasy